Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee, and one of the things that you guys have told me to do with this area here is to try and build something skeletal. You know, I read the comments, and a lot of the comments said, Joe, you need some bone blocks to go with your bone horses, and I think that's not a boneheaded idea. Now, there is a place on the server, a place that I've heard rumor, heard tale of, where you can buy as many bone blocks as you like for diamonds. So I've got some diamonds here. I've got some bone blocks I made out of bones I had myself on hand, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to go to the bone block shop and encounter whatever magical bone block related experiences we might have when we arrive. So, we teleport through this portal that hopefully will not, you know, accidentally send us to another plane. You know, like if it accidentally put us on like a Delta 747, I'd be like, no, I don't normally fly Delta, I'm easily confused. Here it is. Wells and Mumbo's Bone Barn. Do, 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 do. Oh, but first, let's stop by Maslow's Hierarchy of Steak and fill up our coffers with whatever sales we made. Oh, man. Cub Fan had offered to give me a bunch of saddles in exchange for foods and services, and so I guess they have arrived. I'm going to actually probably want to grab some of those and start putting them on those horses, because those horses will just look cooler as some of them have saddles and some of them have other stuff. But anyway, here we go. Bones for sale, bone blocks for sale, nope, okay. New plan, I know for a fact that there is a magical world that is not bone barn or whatever, and we are going to go there and get a bunch of bones from skeletons. Because if I recall correctly, there's that spawner thing way, way over the bridge here. It's, uh, wow, I'm getting easily confused because there's so much stuff now. We have a junk store. Leave your junk here. Everything is free. Wonder if anybody dumped a bunch of bones on the ground. I'll take them. Thanks to the junk store, I was able to empty a lot of my inventory here, so we will now continue boldly and with as many ender pearls as we could possibly imagine needing toward the location of the lost skeleton spawner. Ooh, it's spooky. Skeletons make jangly noises, and things that are jangly are generally spooky. But let's go ahead now. If we don't get enough bones, we can't make a boneheaded skeletal thing in our base, or in the hallway to our base, or whatever. I guess it's not really our base. Well, I'm going to run, like, 350 degrees around this building until I get to the entrance. I guess you wouldn't really call it our base. It's more like the, the access tunnel to our farm. But we're, we're going to want to get, uh, you know, something... Pretty impressive, skeletally speaking, going on down there. Having stood here for a few minutes, we've gathered some skeletons, which we will hopefully now be able to slay in order to access their bones. Hey, bones, how you doing? We're gonna have to probably break this real quick. Oh, hey, there you go. Any more bones for me? No bones about it. I gotta get rid of these extra crossbow things. These are terrible. Just filling up my inventory. So I was able to get 40 bones after standing here for a few minutes. So... That really says to me that this bone block shop is a viable, a viable service that the server needs, and I'm just going to throw that on the ground. Emerging into the nether where we're going to build a skeleton, but not too large a skeleton because we're out of the things to build skeletons with before long. Okay, so we're going to take these bones we have and turn them all, we're going to grind them up to make our bread. By our bread, I mean our bone meal blocks. And then, oh, I need a crafting bench to actually, dang it, to actually make the, uh, the fancy bone blocks. There's got to be a crafting bench, like, somewhere in here. Really, guys, nobody thought we might want to have a crafting bench in our elaborate hall. We've got anvils for decoration. And no crafting benches. Random chests. Well, you know what? We are excellent planners here on Hermitcraft. I'm sure if I just go far and away, somehow I'll find one. Got any bones? No. Dang it. Well, it turned out that the nearest crafting bench was actually all the way back here in my house. So I'm going to grab some of these extra bones I had lying around. I'm actually thinking maybe I should just take a whole nother crafting bench with me to the nether. Because that might be a nice thing to bring for everybody. Everybody might really appreciate that. So we're going to bring some crafting tables with us. And also, I went ahead and I started making some potions of fire resistance here because I thought to myself, if 
I'm going to be in the nether a lot. It might be really good to not be on fire, you know, down the line. So let's go ahead and brew some of those. Now, I've got this nether wart thing here that's really kind of decayed. I moved a lot of the soft sand, soul sand, over to my museum when I wanted to reform that and add a little front yard. But one, one of the things I realized is these blaze, or not blaze, these uh, nether wart blocks might actually look kind of neat in our little area there too. So we're going to bring these potions of fire resistance with us just in case. We're going to turn these bone meals into bone blocks. And we are back in the nether. Now that we've gone through all this trouble to gather these 48 and 64 blocks, this, this veritable cornucopia of skeletal bone blocks, I think it's time to actually try and build out something with this. Now, I don't know exactly what I want to build, but I know I want it to be a skull or skeletal in some way. Now, one thing that we could do is we could try to build like a, a series of vertebrae as well as ribs coming out of here. And I feel like this might be enough space to actually do that properly. So like, let's just hop on down here. And I feel like a vertebrae could be like as simple as just kind of like this. And then like the next one, like you might have some sort of connective tissue but we wouldn't actually have that here. And then how do I have diagonally placed these? Okay, so this is where we get into trouble. This is where I'm like, oh, I should have brought at least one nether warp block so I could place that like so. Whoops, see, already doing it wrong. The Joe Hills method. I learned through mistakes. See, the problem is that, that gives us like a clear spine, but it doesn't really uh, feel, I don't know, it doesn't feel alive. Like, really, the spine should kind of have some curvature to it if we wanted to have it, like, look cool. So, let's go ahead and have it kind of come forward like this. How do you, do you shovel these or mine them? Maybe you need an axe? Okay, so these blocks are just terrible to destroy no matter what you do. But so now, now we've got three vertebrae, and it kind of feels like that's, that's kind of going forward a little bit. And so that's good. That's good. So we're going to just elevate ourselves by throwing an enderpearl directly on top of that and falling down onto it. Boom! That is the Joe Hills way. It is, it is perfect in every manner. It is classic. Everything worked perfectly the first time, just the way I intended. Okay. So now we've kind of got it kind of leaning forward a little bit. But now we're actually going to have it lean back again. We're going to have it kind of rear back, right? So in order to do that, we're going to kind of go up like this and then over. Whoops, that is not intentional. And then have it kind of go up again, kind of the same deal. Well, actually, I think this might be about where we're going to need to start our skull if this is where the vertebra go. Whoa. Okay. So we'll just gather those materials that we intentionally drop below. Jump back up here, knock into this with the big axe a little bit, boom. Okay, so from the distance, what does this look like? Does this look like some sort of skeletal thing? It's hard to say. Kind of? Well, it looks creepy. I don't know. It looks kind of, kind of like a weird centipede rabbit thing. But okay, that's, that's, that's okay. So then what we'll do is we'll set up um, some kind of like, uh, I don't know, a head on the top, right? Like, let's set up a jaw kind of coming out. Oh, man, this might be, I might be too high up for this to do this properly the way I wanted to. Dang it. We're going to have to teleport back up. So this is where scaffolding really makes a lot of sense. But you know what? We're not going to have time for that. No sca no time for scaffold, and we're switching to guns. And the big guns are going to be getting a mandible in place. So we're going to have this mandible kind of come out here and in a kind of, like, expansive way. We want this mandible to say, like, I have room for teeth. And because teeth are going to be, like, one block wide... There, that's going to be like, we got to have a lot of room for mandible. So, let's go ahead and do it like this. Whoops. 
and we're going to go ahead and try to carve out space right here, like so, for it to kind of extend that way. Now, we're already running low on blocks, you'll notice, so that's not ideal. But, okay. So now we have kind of, kind of a head on a kind of a neck with no shoulders or no rib cage. But you know what? That's okay because now we can kind of come around here and we're going to kind of volumetrically expand this upward. And we're going to have the, the jaw actually probably start about here. So let's, like, you'll see what I mean in just a second. So we'll go like teeth, 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 teeth. Boom. Okay. So, whoops. We'll actually probably want to remove that block anyway, because it is surplus to requirement. Then, I really probably should have looked at like pictures of skeletons before I did this. I'm really regretting not doing more of any of that. Oh, do these blocks have different like shapes based on rotation? That's actually a uh, really interesting to know. Because, yeah, I think that I'm doing this wrong, possibly. Okay, so if I want this to be, like, visible as a tooth, I'm going to need a gap here, and then have this come across. Okay, so what we're going to do is... Oh, you know what? The teeth would probably look more like teeth if they were offset from these other teeth, right? So instead of me, like, having them be, like, right there, like, the, the teeth should be, like, above here, and above here, and then, like above here so like one two three and then well no we'd have a tooth right here yeah that would be it and then we kind of have it go up and across over over down whoa not what i intended hello aghast i can hear you but i'm terrified to look for you so i won't okay Please don't be somewhere, like, directly below me. Well, I guess that's unlikely for a gas to spawn directly below you. But not impossible. So, okay, so then this one would go... Dang it. Right there to... Okay. Boom. Then we actually only need this one. Then we kind of come across like so. And we got that one. So let's go ahead and see how this looks so far. That looks like a skeletal chain chomp. Which was not what I was going for. But like, it kind of sells teeth. Um, I think it really needs a rib cage and some shoulders, but I'm just not going to have enough bones to, to really knock that out today. Let's go ahead though and grab these ones off the ground. What can we do with the number of bones we have left? We can start setting up a shoulder, uh, shoulderature here, kind of like, probably be like around there, and then we'd have bones extending outward. That seems unnatural, because it's the only like real straight line in this thing. This needs some additional like volumetric touches along either side. So let's go ahead and kind of cut this out a little bit here, and do that like so. So, huh, that's weird. So far, I've managed to make a very weird thing, which maybe this is the nether things are supposed to be unnerving. So if somebody was coming from this direction, which they very rarely would be, they'd see a bunch of skeletal horses, and then they'd see this thing. Okay, well, I think that might sell teeth better if these blocks were moved back. And if that was kind of different up here, so it was more like, dang it. So if this was more like this. Yeah. So let's go ahead and check that out now. Doesn't necessarily to sell teeth better at all. 
Dang it. This jaw needs more volume underneath to sell teeth better, and it really needs more of a rake and head. But I can't really rake the head without, like, getting up in there and digging it out. Which I'm clearly doing an exceptionally poor job of. What the heck is that? I don't even know what that is. Is that an Endermite? I've only ever heard of those. I don't think I've ever seen one. Until now. I hope that didn't set off like some sort of crazy Ender something chain reaction. Okay, cool. So, we are at least inside of this thing now. Which is what we need. We can kind of dig out the ceiling a little bit. Which is also helpful because then we can use that as scaffolding further. Okay, so if we added even just a little bit here to kind of push this kind of back to give it some sort of nose, I feel like that might really help some. So let's also on this side go ahead and cut out this jaw piece here and this jaw piece here. And then pop up here and go like so. I think I want to do the same on this side here. Kind of add one more piece right here. Okay, great. So that's kind of going to give it a little something, but it's not done. We're just going to have to, like, I don't know, scour the server for sources of bones. Because, like, the uh, that spawner thing is only going to give me, like, 40 bones every few minutes. So that's too too uh, too slow to do in the middle of an episode recording, but I might be able to do some of that during the week when I'm not able to record otherwise because my baby's making too much noise. But let's see. Okay, so we've got whatever this thing is. I don't think anyone's gonna look at this and go, "I feel completely comfortable." I think we've succeeded at making something incredibly unnerving, which might have been a part of the goal of this, but. I'm not sure even anymore. It's just kind of weird. I mean, it really, it really is. I'm, I'm not happy with it. But like in a good way. Like I've created something as terrifying as I'd hoped, just not as impressive as I'd hoped. We'll come back when we get more bones and actually make this good, and I'll look at some skeletons and something. I don't know. We'll work it out. So. Anyway, let's go ahead here, find a good vantage point for this. We might have to dig out some of this even to kind of like make sure you can see it better. There you go. Well, until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.